yang Hello and welcome to another edition of the DJ Sound Show. This is a very special show, as you could tell. <laughs> I got a. <laughs> it's a laugh a minute here with Mr. Oakenfold. Sorry. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you very much for squeezing us in. I know that you're a busy man. No, thank you for inviting us. And uh, I'm a big fan of obviously what you guys do and have been for many years so uh, thanks for inviting me nice one now uh you've had a really busy summer you've I had have, the new yeah. cd out transmission yeah and uh obviously back to ibiza um paint the picture tell us how it's been the well i mean first of all the the summer's been been interesting actually uh if if i'm if i can be honest um with the conflict that's been going on in europe uh myself and a uh, a lot of my colleagues have, have lost a lot of shows and it, it's a strange time for all of us. Not, not Obviously not just the DJs, but uh, the conflict that's going on in Europe has, has really started to affect a lot of people. And We're aware that it's going on around us, but to see this firsthand and realise how it is affecting just people from all over yeah. the Middle East and Europe, it, it, it's it's... It's, it's running deep, isn't it? It, it really is, and it, it's starting to really. I'm finding it. You know, I'm I'm very concerned just for for all of us. I mean, you know, can't we all fucking live together? I mean, especially religion. I mean, I believe in religion, but this is stupid. I mean, it really is yeah. getting. It's getting to a point now where we've all got to wake up and we've all got to stand up. And we've all got to be counted in anything we can do to help this. We should do this because yeah. it's going to get worse. And can you imagine if this comes onto the streets of Britain? I mean, so we... we it's unimaginable. We, it, 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 it's, it's not over there no more. It's, it, yeah. We're in it. We're living in it. And I've seen this by travelling through Europe for the, for the uh, two months I've been on the road, and it's affected me, and I wanted to share this. I think it's important to share yeah, this. Yeah, and also when you're in a position such as yourself, yeah, you know, it, it could be really easy to kind of sit back and, you know not enjoy the lifestyle but you know sort of put the blinkers on and say it's all about the music of course but, you I, know in, it, in your position you know and, and, and you're absolutely right i could come here and say yeah there's look i'm very lucky i know that the summer's been good i've been traveling all over and i could easily say oh, it's all about the parts all about us out all yeah. having a good time it isn't no more it really isn't no more and we should all be aware of this because sooner or later it could be on our doorsteps and, and none of us want that so Thank you for letting me share that. Well, I'm glad that we could provide a platform for <laughs> yeah. you to be able to say that. So, but no, but uh, you know the records, the records doing well. Um, it must be reliving a few memories playing some of those remixes, it, it, you know, it, to the audiences and hearing, you know, a voice like Grace's coming over the speakers it, in a completely fresh way. It's wonderful because never ever set out to do it. It was just merely an idea based on a tour that I'd done in the States um, where a lot of the older fans would come out and say, can you play some of the classics? And I was like, listen, it's not a classics tour. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. And then the team at Perfecto Records coming up with the idea of why don't you take those records, freshen them up, give them a 2014 yeah. production sound and share them with the current and new generation. And I was like, yeah. that's a great idea. Yeah. So I've been playing these tracks that a lot of the people coming up. You're going, reintroducing new generations to those tracks, which, yeah. you know, a lot of them are songs and they do stand the test of time. Yeah. And also you know, not over. I mean, it's. Yeah. And people are hearing them for the first time and, and digging them, you know, yeah. and I'm like, well, Go and check the original <laughs> out. So it's been it's been a, a really great reception to this record, and uh, I'm very happy that people because there's tremendous amount of work has gone into yeah. bringing those records back up to date, and they're not remixes; they're they're cover versions. Yeah. So everything is brand, brand new. new. Are you going to play some today? No. <laughs> 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 well, maybe I, I wasn't planning to. <laughs> what I was uh, planning to do was was uh, I, I would share some new music. I mean, right. I, I, granted, I'm known for a certain sound and style, 
but I wanted to, you know, I'm a fan no, but, like many you know, people. You are all about the new, yeah. you know, and the new, whether it's back in 1989 or 88, you know, or in the kind of early 90s when you were introducing people to, you know, go a trance, back to kind of, you know, 2004 where you were trumpeting Vegas and everyone was like, Vegas? Yeah, exactly, oh, come yeah. on. And you were like, just you watch. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I've... I've, I've obviously... You've got a really good crystal ball there. Yeah, well, yeah. But the, but today, I mean, look, I, I, the funny thing was when... when House music was around the first time, and the Franking Arkles, Dave Morales, MK, and people like that. So, and I loved it then. And so, it, I'm going to play a couple of those tracks that from back in the day with new, new, new remixes, and introducing a lot of the new young producers in the house music. And maybe we'll end on a couple of new productions that are coming yeah. out on perfect. And maybe watch a. You're going to play a CD as well. I'm going to play a CD. <laughs> i just done this remix. Sorry, it yeah, actually is a remix. just done this remix on a new Sophie Alex Baxter track, which is uh, great. So I'm, uh, I've got one CD that I'm going to uh, attempt to mix in. Nice. <laughs> I think you better go around the other side. I will. And lay it down. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you on the DJ Sound Show... Paul Oakenfold.
What a massive moment here on the DJ Sound Show. This has been Paul Oakenfold in the mix, but we've got a special treat for you because we're about to air for the first time worldwide a premiere of a brand new remix by Paul of a track called Only Child featuring Sophie Ellis Beckstadt. So, Paul, are you going to play it for us? On Perfecto Records, and now I'm going to give you the exclusive.
an amazing show in the background world exclusive premiere of Paul Oakenfold's mix of Sophie Ellis Bexter by Dead Reckoning and it's called Only Child Paul do you want to step step around here we'll have a little chat yeah, sure. that was fun yeah I enjoyed that it's uh, refreshing to play uh, some first of all great tunes uh, but second of all not really a set I suppose you've heard me play unbelievable I mean that was grown up stuff I'm not yeah. saying that you don't normally no, do grown up stuff just, but so the way that the finesse of which you play and the kind of your timing you know but he also is just great to share good music with people whatever genre it is I think we're lucky in the, the electronic world with the community we've got the great producers DJs and to get a chance to play you know, their music, uh, yeah. it's, it's really, uh, for me, it's fun. I mean, and 122, yeah. so much energy, <laughs> you know. I know, it's 122 BPM. <laughs> Usually I start at 128 and end at 138. <laughs> so for me, uh, that was a big change. But at the same time, you know, while you might be known for that, you've never been afraid to vary tempos, no. styles, and, you know, not saying that, I mean, you're there kind of out front actually being the difficult child, aren't you? Yeah, in some respects. I mean, look, I mean, the, the, there's, mu there's many tracks I could have went on for a few hours. It also, partly because you enjoy it, then yeah. it's great music, and then you're, you're you know, you're, you're, in, you're in the zone. I mean, and there's so much great tunes out there. So yeah. even, even at the end of the set before I played the, uh, the Sophie Alex Bexter, I managed to get in a, 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 the cover version of Open Your Eyes Off from Transmission, yeah. which was quite difficult to get into because of the tempo was <laughs> obviously a lot still different. still made it work. Yeah, so, well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we we <I> tried. Mean, <laughs> <laughs> we managed to squeeze it, it in. <laughs> I mean, I think... I was sweating on that mix. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, something that I, I asked you, you know, I, I said... You know, are you still, when you're performing, you know, still doing the classical music, the spoken word samples, and also my favourite trick, turn down the main system and yeah. just let the monitors play. I mean, that craft of DJing, you know, are you still honing it? you still yeah, revelling I, I in it? Yeah, I think that's one of the, the, the issues at the, at, the, at the moment is the art and craft of DJing is in some shape or form, it's starting to fade because it's much, much easier uh, to DJ now in, yeah. in terms of technology which you're aware of uh, working yeah. and being part of Pioneer uh, and, and two we are popular the, the, so everyone yeah. wants to be a DJ and uh, the, the, then you see especially in America the current generation they just want to get to the moment get to the moment yeah. they, they don't want the DJ to take them on a journey explain and craft a set so I think in some respects that's missing. I hope we can get yeah. back to that because there's so much great music out there to share and we don't always want to hear the same stuff over and over again that we're on radio and we're in the clubs. Come on, I mean, you know, we all yeah. have a responsibility. The promoters as well because it's the promoters who are booking the talent and they should take a step back and, and recognise there's some great talent that just ain't necessarily yeah. popular but very good and we should share yeah. that with the community. You because you can't argue with good quality. Of course not. I mean, one question that I want to ask you, we're rolling ahead uh, to the end of the show, but I'm fortunate. Um, but what I wanted to ask you, I'll spit it out. <laughs> um, are you hungry for that new difficult residency? Because, you know, you had cream in Liverpool. Well, I've had Ministry had... of Sound in London, cream yeah. in Liverpool, and then, and then Las, Las, Vegas. And Las Vegas. And I was, home, I was resident at home in London, and I've been resident of Amnesia and Passion in Ibiza. So I've, I've done my fair share of residencies. <laughs> yeah, I know, but uh, you take on the difficult ones. Yeah, where, you I know, mean, I have a residency now once a year with my, you know, my, my event that I'm involved in called White Ocean with Burning Man, which we've been doing for a few years now, yeah. which we're just getting bigger and bigger and we're changing the landscape of Burning Man in respect to bringing some amazing new talent yeah, and some great older DJs that we want the community to hear. But in terms of being in a nightclub at the moment, uh, playing every week, I ain't found the right place that uh, you know. And I'm thinking, yeah. but I've got to find the right place. So always thinking, yeah. always plotting, always yeah. Scheming. So we'll see. 
Well, thank you so much for coming on the show and fitting thank us you. in. It's been a real pleasure. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. And thanks to the to your uh, listeners, your viewers. Uh, it's all back, back to you guys. You're the guys that make it work. Humbling words. Thank you so much, Paul Oakenfold, for coming on the DJ Sound Show. See you next time. Goodbye.